Welcome to Model Steam Engines Top Tip Time Part 80. This is a compilation video featuring a superb product. And the product is called JB Weld. Sometimes parts of castings get broken and in this case it's a very important part of this casting which is the main cylinder casting of a Stuart twin launch engine. The alternative to using JB Weld would be to attempt to braze the parts back together or, at the worst, remachine a new block. I don't want to do that. For some time now I've been getting very good reports about a product called JB Weld, which is a steel reinforced epoxy resin. And I wanted to use some of this JB Weld in my short series How to Rebuild a Stuart Twin Launch Engine. Here are the parts that need attention. And here is my brand new packet of JB Weld. So it's time to find out if this stuff is as good as the viewers are telling me it is. This stuff is an American product and I'd never heard of it until the viewers told me about it. So I'm going to use some to stick this part back in place. Normally I would use this type of epoxy resin. This is a 5 minute epoxy formula and it goes off obviously in 5 minutes. And I've used this type of epoxy resin for years. So now it's time to have a look at JB Weld. This doesn't go off in 5 minutes, apparently it takes 24 hours. A lot of years ago I used to use a product called Araldite, which was an epoxy resin that cured in 24 hours, and that was quite good. So I do have a good epoxy resin product to compare this JB Weld to. In this clip I'm attempting to mix two equal parts together, and this part of the operation was more difficult than it first appeared. It was a very hot day in England today, and the heat from my fingers on the tubes made the tubes expand and push out more epoxy resin than I first wanted. But eventually I managed to get two equal amounts on the board, and in this clip I'm mixing the two parts together. Here's the part I'm going to stick back to the engine, and here's the JB Weld that's now thoroughly mixed together, and I'm coating the part with it. I'm trying not to get any in the middle of the part so that it doesn't stick to the thread. There's always a sense of urgency when using two-part epoxy resin, particularly when it goes off in five minutes. But JB Weld takes 24 hours, which makes it a much more relaxing process. I held the part in place and overcoated the edges of the part with some more JB Weld to make sure I had a good coating. One thing that I immediately liked was the colour of the stuff. It matched the cast iron quite well. So I applied another coat to the other side of the broken lug. And now it's looking quite good. It's never going to be a successful repair because the lug does not have much surface area on which to use the JB Weld. So what I'm going to do is stick the washer to the top of the lug and that way it should be quite a strong repair. I'm carefully fitting the washer to the top of the lug, trying really hard not to get JB Weld all over the other parts of the engine. And I clean off a little bit of the surplus so I may be able to make an invisible repair after all. It depends on how it sets. I'm using a small screwdriver to spread a little bit more JB Weld on the joint. By sticking this lug back on the engine, it's not the best way to evaluate this product. As I'm rebuilding this engine for a customer, I cannot bash it about to test the strength of the weld. So what I'm going to do is use a couple of scrap pieces of metal, and I'm going to stick them together using the JB weld that's left over on the mixing board. But before I do that, I'm sanding both the parts down with some 400 wet or dry paper. And this will give the JB weld something to key to. So as you can see, I'm not using loads of this stuff, just enough to stick the parts together. I'm trying to make it look like a realistic repair. I could have put a lot more on, but I just used what was left over on the mixing board. I had a bit of a disaster in the workshop as the main entrance door decided to collapse. So I had to spend considerable time fixing that and ordering a new door. So it was at least 48 hours before I could revisit the repair. And here it is, the JB Weld is set very hard, and I'm tightening up the securing nut. And the first thing I'm looking for when I tighten up the nut is to see whether the JB Weld has cracked. And I rub it down with some sandpaper to check this, and no it hasn't. It's all in one piece. So far so good. So now I'm having a filing test just to smooth it out and see what it looks like. And once again the broken part is very well secured to the rest of the engine. This is really good stuff to use. 
and after filing the repair to smooth things out, even the JB Weld took on the appearance of the parent metal. If you look carefully you can see it's a repair, but I don't know, I've seen a lot worse than this. So now I hear you ask, what about the test piece? I'm going to try and break this piece off. Here we go, and, um, hmm, that's showing no signs whatsoever of falling off the piece of metal. I really did think that the piece of bar would have come off this piece of cast iron by now, but no, it's still intact. I think it's time to call upon a medieval weapon of mass destruction. I'll try this reproduction of a 13th century knight's axe. The amount of force I had to use to separate these two metal parts came as quite a surprise to me. And the stuff itself is rock hard, really hard. It's not like epoxy at all. It feels like cast iron. So what conclusion have I come to? If you want to stick parts of model steam engines together, then JB Weld is a superb product for this. But if you ever feel the need to defend yourself against a 13th century knight with an axe like this, then maybe it's not so good. So for anyone watching this, I'm totally unbiased, I have no connection with JB Weld the company financially or otherwise, and I recommend this product, it is really good. And of course I also recommend this product, this is a reproduction 13th century knight's axe from a company in England called Southern Swords, and it's ideal for defending oneself against any marauding barbarian hordes who may just wander into your workshop. And that is it from this very useful and informative Top Tip Time episode. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website, and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.